Good afternoon, and I don't think I need to ask who doesn't know Bach. Well, you all know Mozart. He didn't know. It's a little story. I was the recently in Leipzig, in the Thomaskirche, the biggest honor in my career to play in the heart where Johann Sebastian Bach created the Metro Passion. And I was thinking in Mozart, when he heard a wonderful song composed by Bach, sing a new song for the Lord. Even before the choir finished, he stood up in joy and he screamed, this is finally something we can learn from. And then I was thinking later, what makes Bach, or not later, I'm still thinking daily, what makes Bach so special? What is his strongest base of countless musicians in the jazz, in the pop, in the rock, in the classic music? And look who are here. Wonderful students went to the north, eh? and I know them. Very disciplined. But when we talk about Bach, something happened. And they are learning the secrets and the mastery, let's say the mystery, of Johann Sebastian Bach. And I told them, what is so special? Is this religious? Is this devotional uh, sense what he wants to share with us? It's something so special. And I called him, or let's say we called him, the God of Harmony. And that is something, actually, translators in words, I don't have any idea, because that needs to be heard. And something very emotionally, is also from the Matthew Passion. It's a striking elegy, what Bach wrote for St. Peter in the Matthew Passion. It's, the, it's the, the, the top of forgiveness. It's the act of forgiveness God offers to St. Peter. And Bach composed a song for that, Erbarme dich. And let's say in English, have mercy. And then just thinking, studying, and then the words comes in my head, in our heads, without judgment, without moralization. This song is a message, a very strong gesture in finding our inner peace, our outer peace. And this is something what we so urgently needing nowadays, especially the days we are living, because that is hope. And Music gives that hope, and I wish that some, let's say, some people listen to that message. Have mercy, Johann Sebastian Bach. That is hope.
But to be honest, I'm a little bit in silent. Wonderful. Playing Bach on the saxophone. That was a phrase that somebody asked me, talk about, think about, explain it. Because, first of all, the saxophone is invented 100 years, let's say more, less 100 years after Bach. And then, somehow, the word pops up, immigrant. Do I feel as an immigrant? Yes. That is nothing negative, that's something positive. You go to another country, you try and learn to adapt the culture, the habits, the, the traditions, the food, especially in Portugal but also the language. In my case, I gave it a beautiful accent and flavor. Sometimes people don't understand that flavor, so that's why I speak in English to you, of course, for to explain myself better. But at the end, feeling embraced with that, that is the answer. And yeah, we will find, let's say, the music and me, or the immigrant who is in the street, he will find the voice of the composer, or the sound of the city, or the language, or the things inside from his neighbor. Studying the technique, studying the, the notes, translating the words maybe, that's a process. Phase one. Open your heart and let it happen. That's the result. New compositions. I have to hurry. New compositions, new neighbors maybe, new friends, new colleagues, new students, new, new public. That, for this all, I carry around worldwide something very special. What I learned, what Aveiro gave me, and it is written in my heart. And it will stay there as long I am on this wonderful world. It's a phrase from Zekafonso. It's strong and full of responsibility. And maybe, what's the news? This is eternal news. Seja bem-vindo quem vier por bem. And for this, we go to the final. And that's why you came for Immortal Bach. I just want to ask you, Close your eyes and listen. Let the music do its job. And tell it to everybody in the world. From here to Africa, from Africa to Russia, from Russia to India, you name it. America, the Holland, Portugal. It's, it's a message just for two. It's like an estafette. Take this message and give it to everyone you want. Because the music, especially this music we're going to do, Immortal Bach, it's a... It's not a brainwash, wash. It's, an, it's an complete workout for the brain. Listen to it. And when you don't hear the beauty, listen again, because that's what Mozart told us. Finally, something we can learn from. Immortal Bach. <laughs>